Hey, Molly Kosh here from Davis Chevrolet. I've got the Acadia here behind me. It just came back from the shop getting the windshield done. Uh, now it does need to go to uh, the body shop quick just to get a little bit of paint touch-ups. There's a couple little uh, nicks that we're gonna get fixed. Uh, but I wanted to give you a quick walk around of the vehicle now that I have it back in my hands uh, and just show you what it has to offer. Cheers. So this is the 2017 Acadia SLT. Got some nice rims in this guy. We got the two-tone, the gray, and the silver. Obviously, it is black. Coming around to the rear end here. It looks absolutely awesome. Now, jumping onto the inside. Block myself out there. Jumping onto the inside, we got lots of nice features in this guy. Being an SLT, you got the Bose sound system. You got the memory seats. We've got heated seats in this guy. We got parking sensors, lane keep assist, all of that good stuff. I'm gonna get her started up. We've got the screen in the middle here for all of your media navigation. You do have the phone projection. You got the uh, navigation built in. Audio, obviously, we got radio. We've got uh, Bluetooth for your phone. We've also got Sirius XM built directly into here. So it's got all the nice amenities there. Now, coming on to the middle here, we do have a digital dash uh, middle screen there for all your info. So it's gonna show you fuel economy, trip computers, your range, oil life, tire pressures, all that good diagnostic uh, data on the vehicle. And then lastly, we've got right there, the uh, digital speedometer. Coming around to the rear seat here, we've got the captain's chairs in the middle. Uh, this guy does have floor liners throughout, so you got the all weather floor liners there to help keep the carpet clean. Uh, we do have second row heated seats, as well as our own uh, climate control for uh, the back seat here. Got a power outlet and then a couple USBs. Now coming around to the rear end here, uh, we do have the uh, power lift gate in this guy, which is awesome. Under here we've got, you can see, we got the rear seats there and then this really awesome cargo mats when you have those rear seats folded down. It makes this a nice flat area for storage uh, and keeps it from getting the backs of the seats dirty. So that's awesome, it's WeatherTech, great brand. Uh, we've got a power, auxiliary power outlet back here. I've got some buttons here to lower the seats, so when those are up, you just pull these, lower them down real nice and easy. And then you do have another USB if you did have some people sitting back there and they wanted uh, to have some amenities. We've got a couple cup holders and then a USB for whoever's sitting in the back. All right, now coming around the passenger side of the vehicle here, you see there's a couple little minor nicks there we're going to get fixed in the paint. But yeah, overall, it is looking really, really nice. This gives you a better idea of what the 2017 Acadia has to offer. Obviously a little different than what we looked at last time, uh, but for the price, I really don't think you can go wrong, especially with this low of mileage. This guy's only got 77,000 kilometers on it. Uh, so, you know, all things considered, the price, the mileage, really, really good buy. And honestly, it wasn't a huge difference uh, between these guys and the newer Acadias. The main thing was just a little bit of a different infotainment system. Uh, but you get a lot of the same features uh, as you would get in the newer ones like the 2022 that we looked at. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you very much uh, for taking the time to watch it. And uh, yeah, let me know what more information you need from me. Thanks, Molly.